In the good old days, presidents, prime ministers, kings and other world leaders were experienced servicemen with knowledge in combat fighting from the many wars they had seen. It was uncommon to find a leader who lacked basic self-defense skills such as martial arts. President Theodore Roosevelt, for instance, achieved the rank of third brown in judo and was later awarded an honorary black belt for his enthusiasm towards the sport. However, as time went by, leadership roles transitioned from military and warfare-oriented ascendancy into a diplomatic form of governance. From then henceforth, anyone, from DJs to lawyers and even substitute teachers could become a world leader. Say what now? Regardless, some presidents have maintained this tradition owing to their passion for fitness and self-defense. Here is a list of modern-day leaders and presidents who are incredibly skilled in combat fighting. 1. Russia's President Vladimir Putin While most people know Putin's KGB history, and his Iron Fist leadership technique, they may not comprehend just how lethal this man can be in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's not only an 8th degree black belt holder in Kyokushin Karate but is also speculated to have started practicing Judo from as early as 11 years old. This explains why he is still in great shape despite his age. Here is a brief video of the president teaching a young boy basic combat skills to overpower an opponent. 2. Japan's Yoshihide Suga Before engaging in politics, Japan's current Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga was a law student in Hosei University and an avid member of the school's Goju Karate Club. He would later on acquire a leadership position in the club as vice chairman owing to his leadership skills and acclaimed achievements as a black belt holder. His karate skills are surprisingly good for a 72-year-old, and it was recently revealed that he does about 100 push-ups every day when he wakes up. Huh? 3. Barack Obama now I know this list was reserved for current presidents and world leaders, but I had to hit you with this one. So, when most people think of Obama, they picture a charismatic African-American president with an immense love for basketball. However, he is also a greenbelt taekwondo holder with over four years of hand-to-hand -hand combat. In 2009, South Korea's president issued him an honorary black belt in taekwondo to commemorate his contribution to the sport. So in case you thought Obama is only good in basketball, think again because he can be just as lethal in hand-to-hand -hand combat. 4. Israel's ninth prime minister and current opposition leader Benjamin Netanyahu. Although Krav Maga, a form of close combat that combines boxing, wrestling, Aikido and karate features, draws its roots from Czechoslovakia, it was later adopted and enhanced by the Israelis rendering it one of the deadliest forms of combat in the world. As a former member of Israel's defense forces and team leader for the Sayre Maktal, the nation's elite forces, it is no secret that former Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, possesses lethal combat fighting skills. He is also hailed for being a commando who once led his team into the Syrian territory before becoming a decorated general and retiring. Despite his age, I am confident that few opponents would survive if placed in a room with this man. 5. Canada's Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. In 2021, Canada's Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, took part in a boxing competition meant for charity towards cancer research. His competitor was none other than a karate black belt holder and fellow politician, Patrick Brazeau. The fight started with Brazeau on the offensive, and it looked as though Trudeau would be knocked out within the first round. However, he remained resilient until the third round when he began landing punches that would eventually leave his opponent bloodied and exhausted. Although Trudeau is not a pro boxer, his resilience and skills in the ring earned him a position among the most skillful presidents in close combat fighting. If you feel we may have skipped a president, king, or leader that deserves to be on the list, please feel free to share such information in the comments section to include it in the second part of this video.